Today I began to think about my great-grandfather, Fred Schrader, a veteran, photographer, choir member, and teacher in the Navy. He served five years in the Navy during the Second World War. My grandmother, Mary, who was really young during this time, seemed to spend a lot of time with her dad when he was not at sea. While he was away, his family stayed at a rented home in Hollywood, Florida, owned by a lady named Miss Parker. Some interesting facts about where they lived are that the family had a maid, and Mrs. Parker charged them 25 cents to wash their car. My great uncle Rich was born right there in Florida. After the Navy, my great grandfather and his family moved back to Wisconsin, where he had a very successful career teaching music. I reached out to my great aunt Annie, who was the youngest of Fred Schrader's three children, and asked her what she remembers about her father's history during this time of service. My dad was in the Navy when Mary was a young girl and when Rich was born. Mary does remember this time. He was not in battle at any time, but was on the big Navy ship for several months, my aunt said. They always were prepared for battle. He used to have to take the night watch often. He was a photographer and had the Navy choir. He also worked on the magazine and I believe he was the editor. My dad never really cared for service duty, she said. Mother hated Florida and the bugs. They were all happy to get back to Wisconsin and for daddy to teach. They lived in Oostburg and then on Park Street in Sheboygan. Daddy taught at Sheboygan North High. He did go to the Aleutian Islands. He spoke of that at times, she added. They wanted him to stay in the Navy and continue with the choir and music and also continue being the photographer. A few of the group photos in the Navy magazine were taken by him. I wish I could have met my great-grandfather, but I am grateful to have family members who can tell me all about what a wonderful person he was.